Today we got to launch the all new RAV4 Prime. Now it's a RAV4 plug-in hybrid. And uh, we also got to launch today is our second generation Toyota Mirai, our fuel cell vehicle. So we actually had a, a double uh, announcement today. So it was, what a great day and to be in here in LA. The regular hybrid version, which is right now, uh, it's, it's, I think it's still, and not only is the best selling RAV being the best selling vehicle in America, uh, non, non pickup truck, it's also the best selling hybrid at nearly 100,000. We wanted to add to that or expand it. But the plug in allows for a greater use of the you know, electric side of it. So with this, uh, through your plugging in, you, you actually, that electric charge gives you about almost 40 miles EV only range. So there is your difference between that, and there's no EV only range obviously in the hybrid, and with an MPGE of 90, this vehicle has a significant range. If you're, if you're in a small commute, let's say, you know, a lot of people live in, you know, 10 miles from their home, you know, working 10 miles from their home, they can go the full day on the full electric. There's a value there depending on where you live and how you use your vehicle. What we're doing for at Toyota is giving you that choice. Look, a little longer commute, whatever, get to choose, choose the hybrid. You want to do this, you kind of be really strategic with your use, that just helps the environment, helps your, your costs, all that is so, uh, it's fantastic. It, it, over the last 10 years, Toyota sold 3.6 million electrified or uh, alternative uh, powertrain vehicles. That is the same amount, or it's more than, all the rest of the industry combined. So, we've been a leader in hybrid and plug-in hybrid. We've also gone down the path of two ways. We're, we keep developing fuel cell technology like the Mirai, but at the same time as we're still working on BEVs, we just haven't introduced them here in the US yet. So what happens is while we, we are not putting all of our chips into one technology basket, I think we really see the value that can come from BEV, but also a fuel cell. What I want to do is give you, the guest, more choice. Last year, Toyota made this commitment. It's called the Toyota Challenge 2050. So by the year 2050, Toyota, from a clean you know, uh, environment standpoint, we made a commitment to reduce CO2 emissions by 90%. Think about that, 90% by 2050. So the promoting of a cleaner environment and cleaner driving is to help, we, we want to continue to be entrepreneurs. But some of the things that need to happen still are infrastructure for fuel cell. We need to see more states really making the commitments for that and teaming up with entrepreneurs, with the OEMs to make that happen. What's great is being part of Toyota, it's to know that we're at the forefront of this. We've always been a leader in kind of a green environmental move, we're going to continue to be a leader.